Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a classic traditional rose tattoo design. This is something everyone needs to know how to do. I know when I first started trying to draw for tattoos, I really struggled with roses for a long time, like probably a couple years. I always tried to do a little bit too much with my roses. I think I just needed to keep it simple and I was just overdoing it, complicating the design, taking away from what a traditional rose is. Now that I've been tattooing nine years, I draw roses pretty similarly every time I do it because I've found a way that works for me. So I'm going to show you guys my process today and yeah, hopefully it'll help you out and be able to draw some nice roses for your clients or if you just want to draw tattoo designs or you're into paint and flash, that's cool too. So I know for me, from personal experience, I've tattooed probably more roses than anything else. I still love tattooing roses. I could tattoo them every day. I wouldn't get tired of it. So I think drawing a good rose is really important for your tattooing career. They're a great money maker. Drawing one on the spot is impressive to a lot of clients. I usually just draw them on with markers and tattoo them. Yeah, I'll show you my process. I'm using a B pencil and just some plain computer paper. Nothing fancy. That's what I like to sketch with. So when I start out, say we're gonna maybe put a rose on a forearm. We need it to have a little bit of flow. Roses don't really have a whole lot of flow without the leaves. So adding leaves and stems is the best way to do that if you're only doing one rose. So I normally start out with kind of a egg shape, kind of oval shape. That's just my general area that the rose is going to take up. This is just kind of loose just to give you an idea of where it's going to be. So I like to, I like to sketch really light when I first start out and you, you want to build up your design. So after I have my main shape here, I add another circle inside it that's going to be like the main bud of the rose. I like to keep my roses really simple so I just kind of come off the top of this with an S shape and this is going to be the, the main fold of the rose and I like to just kind of curl this around in here and then off of that I just come down and connect these lines. So this is basically one petal and this is another petal so these haven't these petals haven't opened up yet, so we're going to show them rolling over. So, just like that, just keep it really simple. So I kind of change the outside shape of this. I like it to kind of have a bit of an upside down heart effect at the bottom. Like here, so then we just darken it as we go. We need to make any changes, you just go a little darker. That's the benefit of sketching light. So after that, we need our main petals. And I always start with the big petal at the bottom. So now I'm just gonna kinda do just the general petal shapes, just to kinda get them where I like them. And our flower is opening up towards us. So the petals that are closest to us they'll be in front of the other petals, so our next petals would be behind them. So they would just kind of overlap here. They would come out of the back of these front petals. And then, so I kind of get a little smaller with, with the petals as they come up. I like to do a big one on the bottom, two medium ones on the side, and I'll do two or three up here. I'll do three on this one. So I just kind of bring these over and just overlap them off of each other. So now that's the main shape of our petals. So there's a lot of ways you can do petals. I like to keep them really simple. On this bottom one, I like to kind of have a bit of a bulge at the bottom and it curve back around. And for the rest of these, I just give them a little dip right in the center. Really simple. So, so now we got our main rows and it's just flat and round. There's not a whole lot of flow to it. So if we were gonna tattoo this on a forearm, or you just want it to look nice on your paper, we need to give it a little bit of flow. So to do that, we would add leaves or a stem. So when I do leaves, I'll draw a line to where I want the center of the leaf. So there'll be one here, 
maybe a leaf here. So we'll put one here. And I do this just to kind of get an idea of how the tattoo is going to flow. And if I don't like where the flow is going, it's easy to change just by erasing this line or drawing a new one. So we'll have five leaves here. And the leaves are almost like a spade shape. So they kind of, they come to a point and they get fat, but then they kind of come back in. I think this shape looks really nice if you look at uh, actual pictures or go look at some roses in real life. They have a similar shape to this on the leaves. So again we're just making our main form for the shapes of everything and building our detail up. And so you could leave your leaves like this, you could add in these lines. I'm not a huge fan of those lines for like a real classic tattoo rose. What I like to do in the leaves is I'll just make a little spike in the center. I'm sure you've all seen this before, it's nothing new. Okay, and then on the sides here, so if this is your leaf, no, and that's the shape of it. You could leave it like that, that's fine too. I like to give it a little, I don't know what you call it, a little texture. So we'll do that. I usually just do that while I'm tattooing or when I make the line work for the piece of flash I'm gonna paint. So, So it looks nice like this. Lately I've been kind of adding some little curly cue, like some little, I don't know what you'd call them, like little vines or something. I think that looks kind of nice. For a long time I did kind of lines like this coming off of it. That kind of can help with some flow, but I've kind of stopped doing that now. So let's line this out on the light table. I'll show you how the line work looks. Okay, so we got it outlined. I like how it came out. I'm not gonna shade it or any of that in this video. I'm gonna make another video on how to spit shade. I hope you guys learned something. If there's anything else you wanted to know that I didn't mention here, leave me a comment and I'll try to get it in another video. If you're wondering what I'm using here, this paper is Arches Cold Press. It's 140 pound and I like the natural white paper. And this pen I'm using is a Micron size 10. I hope you learned something. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.